بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله كما هو أهله نحمده ونستعينه نستغفره ونتوكل عليه والحمد لله الذي هو الأول والآخر والظاهر والباطن وهو بكل شيء عليم ثم الصلاة والسلام على البشير النذير والسراج المنير سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وخاتم النبيين بالقاسم مصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المظلومين المنتجبين المنتخبين لا سيما على الإمام الثاني شر الحجة المنتظر بقية الله روحي وأرواح العالمين لتراب مقدمه الفداء واللعنة الدائمة على أعدائهم أعداء الله من الآن إلى يوم لقاء الله أما بعد قال الإمام الصادق عليه السلام فيا ليتني كنت معكم فأفوز فوزا عظيما صلوات The second of your salawat upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Allahumma sallam. Muhammad alayhi The third of your louder salawat upon Imam of our time, Imam Mahdi ajjalallahu ta'ala farajahu sharif. Allahumma sallam ala Muhammad alayhi Muhammad. Alhamdulillah that he gave us another opportunity to attend the Majlis of Imam Hussain alayhi salam to gain the real nur from these majalis which we cannot understand in this world but hereafter. Tonight's question is that Imam Hussain alayhi salam despite knowing that Imam and his army is much more less than Yazid's army he has his family members his kids with him why didn't Imam surrender for the time being it was logical if Imam had surrendered for the time being to gain power to save himself to save his companions to save his family and come for the war after gaining power, after gaining more companions and fight with Yazid. Why didn't Imam surrender? It's one of the most important questions. What was Imam seeing that forced Imam to fight despite being less in number, despite being not stronger than Yazid's army? What forced Imam alayhi salam? despite his family being his kids being with him to answer this question we have to analyze Yazid's personality this Imam Hussain alayhi salam was Imam for 10 years in the era of Muawiyah why didn't Imam alayhi salam fight against Muawiyah in his army what forced Imam to fight against Yazid as Muawiyah died and Imam alayhi salam fight against Yazid what was the reason? So to answer this question, we have to analyze Yazid's personality. You all know, we all know that Yazid was a corrupt person. He was an alcoholic. He had different ethical issues, ethical and belief issues. Despite all of those issues, one most important quality that forced Imam to stand against Yazid was that he was denying Islam. 
there are different quotes from Yazid in the history that he started denying Islam, he started denying the revelation, he started denying the prophethood of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil. He started denying all these facts. Imam alayhi salam when analyzed and keep in consideration the different parts, the different circumstances, Imam alayhi salam saw that if Imam pledged to Yazid's allegiance and Yazid is starting to deny all the facts about Islam, the reality of Islam, Imam Hussain alayhi salam saw that if Imam Hussain alayhi salam pledged to Yazid's allegiance and he will propagate that I am the truthful person, see Hussain ibn Ali who was the grandson of Prophet, he has pledged to my allegiance despite denying the Islam. So Imam Hussain alayhi salam saw that if he pledged to Yazid's allegiance, it will damage the Islam in a way that is uncurable. Imam Hussain alayhi salam in his famous hadith quotes, Ke inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja'oon wa ala al-islami as-salam idh qad bulyati al-ummatu birra'in mithla Yazid. Imam alayhi salam said, we all are from Allah and to he we shall return. Wa ala al-islami as-salam. You have to recite Fatiha for Islam. Because if a person like Yazid becomes the ruler of Muslims, Islam will be vanished. Islam will be damaged in a way that it will be uncurable. Imam alayhi salam considered this option. I will wait. I will see what happens and then I will cure Islam. Then I will preach the real Islam. But Imam alayhi salam saw that it, wa it will be uncurable if this damage is being done to Islam. To, so to prevent this damage, Imam Hussain alayhi salam saw that the only option is the sacrifice of a personality like Imam Hussain alayhi salam. There was no other way to save and avoid this damage to Islam. All the zahmat of Rasulullah, all the zahmat of Imam Ali alayhi salam, Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam will be wiped out from the history. So Imam Hussain alayhi salam saw that the only cure, the only prevention of his de this damage is to sacrifice a person like Hussain and his companions. Imam Hussain alayhi salam brought his family logically Imam considered all the options and the best option was to bring his family and his kids. So when Imam Hussain alayhi salam sacrificed his life, his companion's life, there must be personalities to provocate the message of Karbala. And Hazrat Zainab salamullah alayha, despite knowing Imam Hussain alayhi salam that after the death of Imam Hussain alayhi salam, his family will see different difficulties no one has seen before. Imam Hussain alayhi salam knew all these things. In a famous hadith, Imam Hussain alayhi salam said that Allah wants me and my companions dead, martyred. And our family and our women slave, being slaves. Why? To propagate the message of Karbala. And it was the only way that Imam Hussain alayhi salam saved Islam. If Imam Hussain alayhi salam didn't sacrifice his life, his companion's life, today we were not sitting here. Today we have forgotten Islam. Today we were, we, we were far from Islam and Islam was wiped out from the history. That's why Imam Hussain alayhi salam Despite being less in number, despite being his family with him, his kids with him, Imam Hussain salam stood against Yazid. Please recite a salawat on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam.